Not only does the building of the tabernacle remind us of God's past protection and his present provision, but I believe the building of the tabernacle reminded the Israelites of the pardoning of their sins. Rather than the Lord exacting an amount on the Israelites, he simply called for whoever was of a generous heart to bring the offering. I believe when the call for a free will offering went out, the Israelites could not forget how quickly they were once willing to give up all that belonged to them to sin against God. Amen, somebody. For Exodus 32 records for us that the Israelites were willing to strip down of their gold for the creation of a golden calf that they propped up as their God. Not only did they create an idol for themselves, but they lost their righteous minds, and the word says they were unrestrained in their revelry. Now, it's important to note that the original Hebrew suggests that not only were they partying hard, but they may have even crossed over into sexual sin. So they completely wilded out on God. Amen, somebody. Now, I know we're all holy, saved, and sanctified in the house, but I'm sure you don't have to think too far back to remember when you were unrestrained in your own revelry. Amen. It wasn't too long ago that you yourself were wrapped up in your own sin and dancing around your own golden calf. Amen. And baby, I'm not talking about your BC sin, your before Christ sin. No, honey, I'm talking about the stuff you done fell into or willingly stepped into since you've been saved. I'm talking about the sin that nobody knows about, the sin that would cause your neighbor to clutch her purse and her husband and get up and move her seat, baby. I'm talking about that sin. Oh, but I'm so glad. I'm so glad that the word says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things pass away and all things become new. I'm so glad that God is faithful to forgive our sins and cleanse us of all righteousness. Baby, that sounds like a good place to shout right there. Amen. Hallelujah. Can somebody put your hands together for a God that looked past not only what you did last year, but looked past what you did last night. Amen, somebody. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Not only does the tabernacle...